You are listening to The Centropic Oracle, an audiobook podcast of science fiction and fantasy short stories that make you think and feel. She Feasts by Ellen Rin Heron She fasts in the winter. Her love is ice and bone, cold as the frozen ground. Freed of love's burden, she dances through moon-dark woods to the beat made as trees' bare fingers clack together. Icicles chime in her hair, and snowflakes dance across her brow as she skips over snowbanks. On the longest night, her frenzy is almost enough to pull the moon down from its perch into her upthrust arms. Almost. She dances less as the days grow longer but her heart begins to warm with the burgeoning sunshine. Love begins to sprout again, and she's afraid. Springtime comes, and with it her appetites start to stir. She finds the curve of a breast in a tulip's cup. A rosebud becomes a lover's caress. Her heartbeat quickens with the mingled perfume of iris and hyacinth. Her love thaws with the ground, and she feels the roots tying her to her sisters. She seeks the maiden with kisses lighter than dew. Lingering frost reminds her of winter's dance. But now, she is lost in springtime and sunshine and the hope that her appetites will be sated, her thirst slaked. Fear grows in sunlight, and summer is coming soon. Fires are lit, within and without, and the need grows stronger within her. Nights grow shorter until she nearly forgets the dance, and she becomes consumed by the sun. Golden rays draw her fire to the fore, and she basks in the sweat and sweet caresses of summer lovers. Limbs tangle, teeth and tongues merge, and the tang of salt and copper wash hot down her maw. She loses her fear. She feasts. The days cool, then blaze back to taunt her with summer's fever. She notices the ebb and flow, but is ever aware the cooler days are coming. The fierce needs of summer have abated, and she feels replete. She walks soft through falling leaves, and lets the ever-cooling rain hiss on her skin. A cloud of fog becomes her bridal train, but she has left her lover at the altar. In the autumn, she loves herself. Her thirst is finally quenched, and she needs no lover's kiss, no caresses but her own. When the first snow comes, she relishes the cold and lets the ice dance deep within her. Her fear has fled with the sun, and now she looks forward to dancing through the hoarfrost. We hope you enjoyed She Feasts by Ellen Rin Heron, read by Jill Raymond. If you'd like to learn more about the author and narrator of this story, or make a donation to them, follow the story page link in the description. If you would like to submit a story for consideration or apply to be a narrator, a link to our submission guidelines is in the description. This story is copyrighted 2020 by the Centropic Oracle.